Hi everyone, my name is Stacy Wixall and welcome to this program where you can learn how to make bangle bracelets. So if you are watching and you are at home and you do not have a take and make kit from our library, what you'll need to do is get some bandanas like this and some toothpicks. And I don't know if you can see over here, but I guess you can. Hot glue gun, and that's all you'll need. Oh, I forgot the most important part, this. It is tubing that you can find at any department store in the pet aisle. Um, it's what people use for cleaning their fish tanks. Um, it's probably gonna run you around $3 for 25 feet of this tubing. And this is what you use for the form of your bracelet. So you need some of this. But if you picked up your make and take kit from our, excuse me, take and make kit from our library, um, then you have all the things that you need. And in fact, you have more than enough. So if you really like how the bracelets you make today turn out, um, you were given three bandanas. So you could choose to make a whole bunch more it, the choice is yours. You could, or you might decide, you know, I'm going to make a couple different colors of um, bangles and I'm going to keep one bandana whole and wear it when I wear my bangles. That's fine too. It's um, all up to you to decide. But how do you do this? Well, the first thing you're going to do, and I'm going to try to see if I can get a shot of my desk here. You're going to take your bandana. Now, I already made these so mine's already been ripped into but i'm going to show you how i did that um it helps if you have scissors so just to get it started um i'll show you on this side let's say this is like this is going to look like yours it's new it's got a hem you're gonna make a cut in your bandana that's about one inch over. And then I just push down with my finger and I try to rip as straightly as I can. And I just go all the way to the end. Now, if you want a perfectly solid colored bandana, um, you could use this strip. I don't. I'm going to try to do a couple strips. Um, I want to get some of this pretty pattern in. So, and by the way, if you don't, if you really are not into the whole idea of ripping, you could cut your bandana with scissors. That's personal choice. I kind of like the effect of the ripping. I like the um, the way it makes the frayed edges. Sometimes at the end, because of the hem, you're gonna wanna cut it. So that one was solid. Now I'm getting into the part I like. So this strip I will be using. Make a little cut, push and pull. That's all there is to it. Now, if you are at home watching this and you don't have one of our kits, um, one of the keys to being able to rip is the bandana, bandana needs to not be the most super high quality bandana out there. You want one that is um, probably a, a less expensive one that's a thinner cotton material. And do make sure you get cotton because cotton works better. Um, okay, so I have a strip and I have this tubing. So this is where your bracelet's gonna close. And the way it's gonna close is with the toothpick. So, You've been given three toothpicks. You don't need the whole toothpick. You're gonna to just kind of break it in two pieces. And then you'll see that one piece can fit in 
one end and the other piece can go like this. But the toothpicks are a little bit skinny. So what I do just to make them a, a snug fit is I take a piece of scotch tape and that's another thing probably everybody's gonna have at home, um, some scotch tape. Use what you have, scotch tape, electrical tape, little piece of duct tape, whatever you've got handy. And just wrap it around your toothpick to um, make it just a bit thicker. It doesn't have to look beautiful because nobody's really gonna see it when it's all finished. And I may have too much. I have a tendency to do that. I think I'm gonna cut this off because I don't want it so thick I can't fit it in. You'd be surprised how quickly the scotch tape um, thickens up your, your toothpick. So let's try this again. I, I put it in, aha, now I've got a nice snug fit. And then I need to trim mine because I have too much at the top. And then I can put this end like that. Now, you have a decision to make. You can try to glue your strip onto this piece of tubing in such a way that you will still be able to open and close your bangle, or you can go right over it. That's, again, personal choice. I think I, I kind of like the idea of being able to open it. Um, but if that doesn't, if that's not really a concern for you, then go ahead and, um, you can do it with it. You can wrap your strip right around it. So to start, because I want mine to be able to open and close, I am going to put a little bit of glue on my tubing. So. Got my glue gun going and I'm, I, I don't know if you can see, I'm just gonna put a little bit on the end. You don't have to go crazy, just a little, just to get it tacked. And then I'm gonna put my, um, my cotton bandana right on it and that'll glue really quickly. So I've got it glued down. Be careful you don't burn yourself because it's gonna be hot and it will go right through the cotton. So, don't stick your fingers right down in it because it will, it will be an ouchie. Okay, then I'm just, I'm just going around. That's all I'm doing. If my strip ends up um, running out before I get to the end, I'll bet you guess, I bet you I, that you can guess what you're gonna do. You're gonna go ahead and take your bandana and rip off another strip. That's all you have to do. And you'll just continue on. And if it's way more than you need, you'll take your scissors and you'll snip the strip wherever you think you want to. See, I'm just twisting around. So as I said, everybody got three colors of bandanas. So that means you could make um, three different colored bandanas and wear them together. You can make them all the same color. You can make two that are the same color and one that's different that contrasts. Um, you could get some of this tubing if you like doing it and you could make lots of bandanas, keep some for yourself, give them, give them out as gifts. They make nice um, small gifts for people. They could even be a nice little Mother's Day gift for somebody. It, um, whose mom might enjoy jewelry. Okay, so I'm to the end of the strip and I'm not worried about it. I'm just gonna put a little glue on here and tack that down. And I'm gonna try to be careful not to burn my fingers. And, and then I'm gonna rip another piece of bandana This side. So I make a little cut.
and I'm gonna rip. Rip, rip, rip. And snip, snip through my hem. And now this is probably gonna be way more than what I actually need, but that, like I said, that's okay. Because actually I want it to have the pattern and I know this is more than I need. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut off the solid piece that I don't really, I like the, I like the bandana pattern to be more visible. And in fact, I'm gonna start over a little bit because see, I got some solid red here and I'm not super thrilled about that. So I'm just gonna glue this part over some of the red so I get more of the pattern. So just so you can see, I've got, I don't know if you can see, but I've got glue right there and I'm gonna put my bandana cotton right in there and just tamp it down carefully without burning myself. And then just like I, what I was doing before, twist it. So hopefully everybody's getting the gist of this at home. Such an easy um, little craft that makes something pretty cute, I think. If you like matching your jewelry to your clothes, this is a really way easy way to have some bracelets for yourself that will match. Okay, I'm to the end and I'm gonna put a little more glue on. That time I just put it on the cotton itself and carefully there. And like I said, um, hot glue and this bandana cotton make it really, really easy to glue. And then when you put it together, can even really tell where it, tell that it can open. Now, I don't need to open it for mine. I'll take my watch off to show you. I could slip it over my hand, but see, that's what's nice if you're making it for a gift for somebody and you don't really know, because not everybody has the same size wrist. So if you do this, it means, if it's a little bit difficult for it to be able to go over the person's hand, um, they can just open it up and be able to put it on this way. I would probably need a little help, um, but it wouldn't be that difficult. If with a little help, you could get it on. But I'm lucky because I can just kind of go like this. And here are the two other ones I made out of the red bandana. And check it out, there you have it. I have a matching um, little set of bandana bangles that look pretty cute on a summer day with a little red and white outfit on. So I hope you have fun making these. And um, if you do make them and they turn out really cute and you wanna send me a picture of yourself Wearing your bangle bracelets, that would be awesome. Send it to Macedon Library Director at OWWL.org and you might be posted on our website. So I will see you at the library. Bye.